halotherapy, or dry salt therapy uses dry aerosol of natural salt microparticles and minerals to treat respiratory conditions, and delivers healing environment of treatment that has been practiced in European salt mines since the early 19th century. It is a physical, non-invasive, natural, drug-free and safe therapy for respiratory conditions. Brief History of Halotherapy In 1843 Felix Boskowski, a Polish doctor of medicine investigated and stated the curative factor of salt mine environment on respiratory conditions. Since then, many salt mines have been used for therapeutic purposes all across the Europe. In 1990 Russian Ministry of Public Health sanctioned halotherapy or dry salt aerosol therapy as valid medical treatment based on data collected from 15 Russian hospitals from 1991 to 1994. Over 4,700 patients both adults and children with various types of pulmonary diseases have been evaluated. Halotherapy course consisted of 10 to 20 daily sessions. Halotherapy treatment resulted in improvement of clinical state, in 85% of mild and moderate asthma cases, 75% of severe asthma cases, and 97% of chronic bronchitis and bronchitis cases. Long-term examination of patients for one or more years demonstrated the effect of halotherapy on reduction in the frequency of exacerbations, and reduction in chronic symptoms. In 2001 first halotherapy clinic has been established in Toronto, Canada. Since then many halotherapy spas have been created across America. The dry salt therapy complex is composed of one, two or more rooms. A room or rooms for patients and a technical room for halo generator machine that generates microparticles of dry salt aerosol. Usually, the room for children is separate due to the fact that children like to play in the salt room, and adults tend to deeply relax. The surfaces of the salt room are lined with natural salt to keep sterile and allergen-free environment at all times. In addition the salt room is equipped with dimmed ambient lighting, audio and video systems to create relaxing atmosphere. Clients relax in comfortable chairs and breathe in air which is rich in microparticles of salt. Benefits of Dry Salt Aerosol Therapy Clears excess mucus Balances respiratory airway surface liquid Provides anti-inflammatory and bactericidal effects Speeds recovery from reactive inflammation after endonasal operations Reduces bronchial hyperresponsiveness Clears inhaled contamination particles from lungs Improves humoral and cellular immunity Increases lung capacity for enhanced athletic performance. Normalizes superficial skin microbial autoflora. Contradictions of dry salt aerosol therapy. Acute stage of bronchi and lungs diseases. Chronic obstructive pulmonary diseases with symptoms of the third stage of chronic lung insufficiency. Cardiac insufficiency. Blood skidding. Hypertension stage 2. All internal diseases with decompensation. How many dry salt aerosol therapy sessions are required? Each halo therapy session lasts 45 minutes both for adults and children. Number of sessions depends on an individual condition or personal preference and ranges from 4 to 25 sessions. One may have some relief after just one session, however, for best results it is recommended to take as a minimum of four sessions. Those who come for stress relief and relaxation simply come as often as they like. For many conditions, after a series of sessions, symptoms subside and relief can last for several months or more before another set of sessions may be required. Mechanism of Dry Salt Aerosol Therapy Action Therapeutic action of halotherapy or dry salt aerosol therapy is delivered by air saturated with dry sodium chloride, salt. Aerosol of a mass concentration varying from 0.5 to 15 mg per cubic meter, and particle effective size of 1 to 5 micrometers. This size of particles is optimal for penetration to all sections of respiratory tract. A particles of 1 to 5 micrometers can penetrate deep into the smallest respiratory airways. 
The phenomenon of osmosis is the most important factor of the therapeutic effectiveness of dry salt aerosol. Once the process of osmosis during halotherapy treatment takes effect, the high concentration of salt outside of the microbial cell causes it to shrivel because the water has migrated outside of the cell. The intensity of dry salt aerosol therapy action depends on the concentration of the dry salt aerosol that causes dehydration of microbial cells and the impairment of the albuminous structure of the cells. The dry salt aerosol causes bactericidal and bacteriostatic effects on the respiratory airways microflora and prevents the development of inflammatory processes. Dry salt aerosol is a considerable negative electrostatic charge of particles ranging from 6 to 10 nanocoulombs per cubic meter. Since the inner surfaces of respiratory airways have slight positive charge, therefore salt aerosol particles penetrate into the lumen of respiratory tract and embed intensively. In addition negative electrostatic charge of dry salt aerosol increases lumen stability. Negative ions control the autonomic nervous system. Dr. Tanaka found that negative ions control the balance in the autonomic nervous system between the insulin and adrenal functions. This provides strong resistance to diseases. Exposure of boundary layer of the biofilm to a negative electrostatic charge breaks it down, disrupting microorganisms and allowing salt aerosol microparticles to penetrate more deeply into the biofilm and allowing osmotic process of dehydration to act on the microorganisms. Negative charge of dry salt aerosol revive and speed up cilia beat. After exposure to negative ions carried by dry salt aerosol cilia beat increases significantly, improving clearing the inhaled air of pollutants, and removing out of the system the waste deposits and respiratory tract. It is important to note that salt absorption during the halotherapy procedure varies from 1 to 9 milligrams. The daily average human salt requirement is 2,000 mg so the salt absorption during the halotherapy treatment is negligibly small.